Retrain the brain, release your stress and discover inner peace. Keep a smile on your face. Me? Not everyone. <laughs> Come on. We're waiting for the toilet. <laughs> yeah, it's very important, you know, before meditating. <laughs> okay. Knock the door, they say, hurry up. So, in the 60 minute lesson, we understand principles that are the foundations of meditation. So, Eastern wisdom, which is 6,000 years old, we have 3,000 teachers and the text. They lived much before, more than I would say 2,500 years. We have the text that explains this is the first principle, this is the second, this is how you have to meditate and awaken to peace. So the way the principles of the science rules the material world, these principles rules the meditation. Where is the goal of meditation? Twofold. Bring an end to the suffering. If honey is making you upset, you are still happy. Thank you, honey. Oh, that is the state of the mind. <laughs> Where is the smile? Well, you started thinking, and don't go back. You see, let me apply a couple of those principles. <laughs> Whom do you talk too much daily? Do you know that? We always talk to ourselves. 99%. 1% we talk to others. Always talk to ourselves. And that causes the wandering mind. A little bit, you know, when they come back and then we will start with the process, yeah. So the first thing to understand, the goal of meditation is twofold. To bring an end to the suffering, that suffering in your personal, professional, social life. And the second is to awaken to inner peace and happiness so that you live in peace and happiness 24 by 7. Now if your mind is thinking of someone else who is near and dear to you, your mind starts thinking, okay, you know, my honey is responsible for my stress, you know. He should attend the class or she should attend the class. Your mind has started talking to yourself. No. I don't have money. No, no, no. I, I have a lot of problems to solve. So in the morning I was giving a lesson to not-for-profit and she was saying, you see that? I have, a, I have to take divorce. I have to sell my house. Then I have to find a new job. And then I said, you have to meditate. <laughs> That is how this I is there. Now see, I have a wandering mind. I am in anxiety. I am in stress. What a life without a wife, so I have to marry. Why? Goal is one, happiness. Inner peace and happiness. So the journey of the meditation is to move into that state of peace and happiness. So today's program is focused on the teachings of masters who talk a lot about third eye. I don't see the smile in your face. No, not you. You're honey. <laughs> yeah, so I'll just give a brief and then we will, so you'll understand that what practices 
what practice of meditation we are going to do. Third eye. Have you heard of it? Third eye. Did you go to the doctor to do this surgery to open the third eye? <laughs> <laughs> We always talk of third eye. Now just two, two, uh, two things and then uh, I'll take you deeper. You go to the doctor and the doctor opens it and it creates a third eye. So now we have three eyes like the, these two eyes. And when I look at you with the three eyes, <laughs> what will happen? You're never going to forget <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you, you, What will happen? You can't get it out of your mind. So the, you see that I have attended many sessions of Kundalini and the people talk about the third eye and they consider it is the physical entity. No master of the tradition has talked about that it is a physical entity. It is a state of wisdom. It is the state of right perception. So from the sense perception, from my sense organs, I know a lot of people are attending my session. This is a sense perception. The second perception is the mental perception. And the third is the right perception. Buddha says the first qualification of meditation is right perception, right knowledge. That knowledge of what? Knowledge of the self. Not knowledge of the honey, how she or he makes me crazy. Knowledge of the self. Where is the smile teacher? <laughs> Yeah? So that perception comes from deeper insight. It is beyond concept. It is beyond thinking. It bypasses, it transcends the mind and takes your mind to a state of awakening to inner peace and happiness. Why don't you give me the practice? Why you are you doing such a gossip? I know everything. Yeah? Our mind starts thinking about it. So the master says knowledge and experience are two different things. You can get information and knowledge from the Google, not an experience. And in between knowledge and experience, there lies your temperament, your attitude. Because we we'll all have a different perceptions in the life and that causes us stress, anxiety, duality, problem in the suffering. So that is why the master says that we have to customize these programs, these practices to help us to discover that inner peace and happiness. First step that we are going to do, this is an active meditation. You know, sometime I give practice, you know, Saturday session, which has no activity. I always stress that you have to do nothing. So when I guide people these practices of mindfulness, effortless, uh, they say we did nothing, you know, nothing is happening. My mind is wandering. And my mind is still in stress. You need another practice, customized practice. That is why today we are here active practice. And sometimes when I say you, can you breathe for a minute, little quick and fast? No, I cannot do it. You know, it gives me lightheadedness. Look at the mind. Mind doesn't want to do anything. And if it still remains in the state of doing nothing, still it is anxious. I say you to do something, still it is anxious. We have to change this mind. With a smile on the face. <laughs> you see that? If we change that mindset, so maintain that awareness, that every step, it is active, it is passive, we have to complete it, we have to do it. 
Otherwise, I will refer you after the class to an officer who has to guide you. You have to do it. Military rule. Do or die. This is active meditation. So please, don't worry about the chains of experiences. It is going to happen. That is going to change the brain. And the brain is going to change your attitude and behavior. And that will lead you to peace and happiness. So the first step, first five minutes, we do nothing. We understand the mind. Second step, we release the energy from the unconsciousness. Next week, I'll talk a little bit about the energy. We talk about quantum energy and a lot of other things. So I'll talk about that. So the, there are second step, we have to release that energy from the mind. Anxiety means, you see, according to Eastern wisdom, anxiety or stress or duality in a conflict means the mind is dragging that energy. And that energy is making me, you know, constantly agitated, constantly thinking, unnecessary, unwanted. That leads to the confusion and the conflict. So what I do? We separate that energy, and that energy is known as prana. Don't start thinking about it as quantum energy. When we say quantum energy, then, huh? then we are thinking of that we have become great teachers and we have become great students. Look inside that energy. The third, third step is balancing that energy. Fourth step is going deeper into yourself. Are you guys ready? We will see whether you are qualified or not. <laughs> so lie down. <laughs> sit. <laughs> sit or lie down. <laughs> what is? <laughs> Don't be so serious about meditation. Oh, it's a very serious business. No, seriousness doesn't work in meditation. You have to start with the peace and happiness. Come on. Yes? Eyes are closed, lie down on the back or sit. Whatever is more comfortable to you. Comfortable to you. So now see the first step, how it goes. So we bring the mind to an experience of being comfortable, carefree, and natural state. If the mind does nothing, if you separate yourself from the mind, you're always comfortable. See that I just came here. Oh, I did the gossip, I'll give the class and I'll go back. Finished. How simple it is. So, mind goes to the neck joint. Feel the sensation. Mind experiences the sensation. Mind also experiences comfortable and steadiness. Now see the point. If the mind is experiencing the sensation being comfortable, steadiness. Mind has naturally stopped. Mind has naturally stopped hesitation, wandering. Move the mind on the shoulder joints. Feel the sensation being comfortable and steadiness. Now, if there is no steadiness in the shoulder joints, where is the problem? The mind is experiencing some unease in the shoulder joints. What should I do? You know it. Adjust in the line. How simple it is. But if it is comfortable and sometimes what happens? The mind has created a habit of moving the body. Then what happens? That is the sign of anxiety. That is what I observe you in, in all of you. And that helps me to customize the program. Move the mind on the hip joint. Feel the sensation. Being comfortable. And steadiness. Knee joints. Sensation being 
comfortable. Now see how the mind, the mind forgets what is the best position of the body to be comfortable. I like it. Some people have simply, yes, some people have done it. You see, that is what I, I observe and I make you experience. Are you comfortable? The most comfortable position of the body when the legs are lying on the floor, when you keep your knees bent, what happens? After some time there will be a pressure. When the pressure goes to the mind, builds up an anxiety, then you move it, you forget the practice, and then you say nothing is happening. This teacher, yes, I will agree with you. So second point, being carefree. Being carefree. Free from all the cares of the mind. Who cares you the most? The mind. Always know that, not your honey. I'm correcting your mistake. The mind cares. How it cares? By thinking, thinking, thinking. And then what happens? Too much thinking leads to conflict and confusion, leads to tension, leads to a lot of problems. What should I do? Let these thoughts come and go. Don't worry about it. It is the thought that moves the body. It is the thought that thinks of anxiety. It is the thought that claims I'm wandering. Let these thoughts come and go. Don't worry about others. Don't worry about temperature. Don't worry about the noise. You see that? That is the point of awareness and being natural. Being natural, the mind is natural, means what? By default, the mind is 90% in peace. Just nothing doing. We'll move to the next step. The next step has six points. Now we are going to move into the active step. The second step is all about releasing the energy from our unconscious habitual mind. Remember, if the mind moves the body repeatedly, the mind wants to go out. Let there be a noise. Let everyone cry. But you continue doing the practice. Don't worry about it. Think of that there are two teachers. Listen to one. Now look inside the chest. Look inside the rib cage. Become aware of the breath and start breathing quick, fast breathing from the chest through the nostrils. I like it. Quick, fast. No movement in the mind. No movement in the body. Continue. Keep looking inside the rib cage. Continue. Quick, fast, quick, fast breathing. Please continue quick, fast breathing. One minute. <clears throat> quick, fast. You inhale, chest expands, and you exhale, the chest contracts. Quick, fast, quick, fast, quick. Continue one minute. One minute. And stop it. Any active practice to change the state of the mind and to transcend it includes the Kundalini meditation also. So there are something, you know, I'm teaching based on the Upanishad. Now look at the head and the neck. You have a change in experience. Look at the head and the neck. Sensation, relaxation, and stillness. Right arm. Sensation, 
relaxation and stillness. Look at the left arm. You see the mind is naturally moving on the body because there is a change in experience. There may be a noise outside, let there be, who cares? Look at the left arm, sensation, relaxation and the stillness, chest and the belly. We are settling the mind that has entered into the body unorganized. That is one of the greatest cause of anxiety in the duality. Right leg, sensation, relaxation and stillness. Left leg, sensation, relaxation and stillness. Entire body, sensation, relaxation and stillness. Now if the mind objects you not to do the practice even for a minute that indicates that we have yet to qualify to undergo that practice of meditation so don't worry about others let anyone do you are doing your own practice come on you need not to disturb others but if the mind is disturbing is getting disturbed from the others means what the mind is moving outside the mind is still talking to you. It is not simply saying, you know, just open the third eye and we are awakened. It's okay. Let the cell phone ring. Don't disturb yourself. It will calm down. Now looking inside the belly and start breathing long and hissing breath from the belly through the nostrils. Inhale, the belly goes up. Exhale, the belly it returns long in the hissing breath. The belly inhale, exhale. The belly contracts completely. Inhale, the belly goes up. Inhale, belly expands like a balloon. And exhale, the belly drops down. Inhale and exhale. You see that? Can you do it even for a minute? In advanced practice, we do it for seven minutes. <coughs> the masters, many masters say when you do it for seven to nine minutes, it purifies the mind. The second step is all about purification of the mind. Continue and stop it. Now we will move into the passive state again. Look at the head and the neck. Same experience, sensation, relaxation and stillness. So what happens? There are two op three options. The mind follows your conscious experience. Good. You maintain your awareness. And the second, the mind continues to wander it reacts to the practice, you are losing. You are losing that benefit. Third, the mind falls into unconscious sleep. These two are obstacles. Look at the right arm, sensation, relaxation and stillness. Left arm, sensation, relaxation and stillness chest and the belly sensation relaxation stillness right leg sensation relaxation stillness I'm just Explaining, it is your experience. If it is your experience, you are with me. I'm with you. Left leg, sensation, relaxation, stillness. 
to understand one more point if you repeat this experience of sensation relaxation and stillness where these experiences are stored in the mind where your anxiety is stored accumulated in the mind where the wandering uh, nature is stored in your mind what you're doing aren't you replacing yes that is but it comes by repeat practice you eat every day go to the restroom every day that is the meditation should become a part and parcel of your life now we are moving to the next step the second step in the last phase look inside the forehead you have to raise your awareness body should remain still and long hissing breathing both from the belly and the chest first you inhale into the belly then continue into the chest exhale from the belly exhale from the chest long in the hissing let there be a noise let there be a sound of the breath why the mind picks up the sound inhaling into the belly and the chest exhaling from the belly and the chest so the mind doesn't fall into unconscious it is not trapped by the habit yes long in the hissing breath continue my friend one minute just giving you a one minute of practice not a big deal long in the hissing breath but if you start doing you practice on your own it will not benefit you that the way the practice is designed long it is not slow it is the hissing breath that has we have to influence the brain and stop it look at the head and the neck sensation relaxation and stillness right arm sensation relaxation and stillness you know it is good to rely on the signs understanding the respiratory process the inhalation and exhalation carbon dioxide and oxygen exchange and the influence on the brain okay it has influenced the brain what about meditation that is why i say we have to follow the principles and the principle says two things it removes the ignorance of the mind paves the way to peace and happiness one naturally it gives you a remarkable heighten state of awareness why that is required to live within to help the mind to live within and we start thinking you know oxygen carbon dioxide yeah it is important but not in meditation look at the right arm sensation relaxation and stillness left arm sensation relaxation and stillness chest in the belly sensation relaxation and stillness right leg sensation relaxation and stillness left leg sensation relaxation and stillness second step is done now we will move to the third step look at the breath the breath goes in take a deep silent and slow breath now see couple of people are snoring they're falling into unconsciousness other get irritated so i have to customize the practice take a deep breath into the belly and the chest 
while breathing out make the humming sound louder, deeper and longer. Yes, louder, deeper and longer. Continue. Don't shy, just do it, my friends. Louder, deeper and longer. Stop the humming, but continue to deep, silent and slow breathing. It is deep. You are not changing the body. The breath is deep, silent and slow. During inhalation and also during exhalation. See that? If that happens, not only you transcend, you qualify yourself, you transcend sleep and you also transcend that wandering and agitated st state of the mind. And if it is still there, that is also possible. So why it is still there? The mind is habitually doing the breathing and still thinking of something outside. So, the Master says, it is lack of your intention. Why you are here? Moving inside, living inside, awakening peace and happiness. Continue. Deep, silent and slow breathing continues. This is the fourth step. This is the fourth step. And continue, continue. We will also we'll go for the next higher step. There are a couple of teachers also. So we take it at, you know, we read it in the Google Kundalini 
snake as if we all carry the snake kundalini is a sanskrit word that means the kunda refers to the dormant potential of the brain you see i explained you the third eye the same misconception is there how to get rid of that kind misconception by understanding the principles of the eastern wisdom from these teachers who passed on the wisdom anyhow let us move to the next step this is challenging we will retain the breath in sight only for 20 seconds everyone can do it and we will do some practice inhale deep silent slow continue to inhale hold the breath now look inside the forehead and hammer with this mantra what is that mantra silently e me 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 mentally mentally you are hammering the space inside the head with the retention of the breath for 20 seconds release the breath <laughs> do not think continue with a deep silent and slow breathing you see that not only it will remove obstacles at the same time it will help your mind to go deeper within we will do three times on the center of wisdom that leads to right perception center of wisdom is the third eye inhale deeply into the belly and the chest continue to inhale 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 hold the breath look inside the forehead and start hammering e me 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 mentally mentally 20 seconds i'm repeating the same practice which we did last week well i'll customize it and release the breath you see it will take you away from the snoring and the sleep also if you are listening to me and doing the practice it will take your mind away from the wandering straight just check it yes third time inhale deeply into the belly and the chest continue to inhale hold the breath look inside the forehead e me 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 mental mentally no movement in the body everything is now mental we are doing something deep inside release the breath continue to inhale deep silent and slow this also gives a break to your constant as it tightened thinking my now we will pick up the center of emotion or the heart that naturally raises the center of intention inhale deeply into the belly and the chest continue to inhale hold the breath look inside the heart and here the mantra is rim 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 mental mental rim 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 bar ki awaaz bandi kar dijiye kholte karte hain to disturb hota hai release the breath 
So it is your awareness and attention, the breath that is deep, silent and slow, the stillness in the body, that everything, everything leads to awakening. If you miss one, you fall down. Inhale deeply again into the belly and the chest. Continue to inhale. Hold the breath. Look inside the heart. Mantra is Reem, 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 Reem. You are hammering. Why I use the term hammering? Nail, you hammer in the wall. Mind goes inside. I'm just explaining everything symbolically. Leave this and release the breath. Release the breath. You have come here to attend my session, so follow the practice. You may have more wisdom than me. That I always accept. But do the practice. The way I customize these practices is going to help you. Last time, inhale deeply into the belly and the chest. Hold the breath inside, look inside the heart. Reem, reem, hammer it mentally. Hammer it. Reem, 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 reem. The reem is a Sanskrit word that helps us to move the mind within, emotionally, if I use the word, trying to make the things clear to you, and release the breath. We have to break the comfort zone that we have created, our mind has created. And that is what we are doing silently. Yes, inhale deeply into the belly and the chest. Now look inside the belly button and start hammering. Clean, 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 clean mentally. Looking inside the belly button in the space and hammering. Clean, 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 mentally. Release the breath, return again to deep, silent and slow breathing. See that? You can still experience. What do you experience? The body is still relaxed and calm. The breath is regulated by the conscious mind. <coughs> The mind has gone within a lot of things. You know, those subtle layers of the experiences changes the brain to change the, our status of life. Inhale deeply into the belly and the chest. Continue to inhale, hold it. Look inside the belly button and start. Clean, 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 mentally. And if that happens to you, I know during the last 38 years, thousands of people have changed. Not because of me, but because of the principles we follow, we understand. The principles we practice, we experience. Release the breath and now look at the breath only. Look at the breath. No change in the rate and the rhythm of the breath. Now see, this leads you to a meditative state. The previous steps, why? That I'll talk later. So breath is going in, look inside the forehead. The moment the breath goes in, you look inside the forehead and drop 
when the first mantra aim breath returns aim what we are doing we are doing a surgery to open the third eye this is our surgery through meditation you need not to go to a surgeon it only happens in the state of sensation relaxation stillness and calmness in the body it only happens when you are fully awake it only happens when the breath is normal it only happens when the mind is living with it then the wow moment comes choice is yours not mine Do you remember what you are doing? Breath is moving naturally. The moment the breath goes in and the mind drops inside the forehead in the space and you drop on. A. The breath returns A. That dropping is natural, effortless. Continue. this the last step is the real journey and now the time to do nothing yes my friends just do nothing remain in that state of doing nothing you know what happens it is expressed by a mantra written by one master where he says sarvesham swastir bhavatu may there be success for all you see that the softness and the gentleness of the mind sarvesham shantir bhavatu may there be peace for all sarvesham purnam bhavatu you see it comes it's a revelation when that revelation takes place in you you succeed in it how simple it is purnam bhavatu may there be completeness in all if we all are experiencing the sense of completeness where comes the desire to manage or transcend your anxiety you are already in peace sarvesham mangalam bhavatu may there be happiness for all happiness for all it comes naturally there is no reaction shanti 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 om shanti 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 om shanti 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 
Bring your awareness on the right hand, your awareness on the left hand. Bring your both the palms on your eyes, open the eyes inside the palms. Know your experiences. Now it is the time for you to speak out and share. Whatever it is, good, bad, high, low. It is your experience, not mine. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, how are you, my friend? Pretty good. Even if there are so much noise. I can't, that's odd for me. Because that's, how can you say that is odd for you? That is the real thing for you. That is where you have to reach. <laughs> I like it, Dennis. I like it. Understand. Remember this point. That if there are disturbances outside, anything happens outside, you are still in peace. You are still in peace. That is the key. The mind is still thinking, it's so weird to be here. Stop this! <laughs> Dennis! Stop this! That hesitates the mind, you understand? That's what we are understanding. How are you, my friend? Um, I'm a little distracted at first. Um, be because of me? Oh, it's because of me. Thank you. Because of the noise, like the music and stuff, but then I settled in. Settled in, yeah. And, I feel like I went pretty deep. I feel good. Pretty deep. You see that, understand that point and go back home and contemplate. What she said in the beginning, but it was, I was disturbed because of, because of the noise outside. So one factor is the noise outside. The second factor is my state, the state of my mind. If my state of my mind is indifferent to the noise outside, let it happen. We, I'll, I'll ask the owner next time to do meditation outside the parking lot. <laughs> Bring down the price. <laughs> right. You think of it. I'm explaining the principle. The mind should remain indifferent. Mining should remain indifferent where I have nothing to do. No, they are guys, they are drinking, let them drink. The cell phone of one guy rings, let it ring. Who cares? No, I have to care. And the moment you care, you are wandering. Teacher, did you understand? That is what. How are you, my friend? Excellent. Excellent. You see that? You're near me, that's why you're excellent. <laughs> <laughs> no, what do you think I said? <laughs> <laughs> no, I feel excellent. <laughs> yeah, that's good. How are you? Feel calm, relaxed? Mm -hmm. How are you? <laughs> Much more centered. Much more center. Only in one session. One person, if you continue the practice, what happens? Choice is yours. It's a owner's studio, why should I say, always come, you may not like me. So choice, <laughs> how are you? Who doesn't like you? <laughs> <laughs> I don't like you. <laughs> <laughs> Who doesn't like you? Who doesn't like you? Who doesn't like That's good. Yeah. That's a good experience, yes. And I, I could see a, a purple light. At the purple end. light, purple yes. Light. Yes, that's really good, you know. I always ask everyone, you may have some visions and the colors, and the purple has to do more with the deeper state of the mind. There are uh, from 17 almost to 70 different layers of the vision and colors. The master explains that, what it means. But purple is obviously coming down. You know, those who are Waiting for the next session, they can also come inside. They can listen to my gossip. You know. <laughs> so, how are you, Michelle, after a long time? Oh, wonderful. Wonderful? Yeah. Must, you must attend the class of Michelle. You know, she is a wonderful teacher. How are you, my friend? Good. 
Good. He's lying. He's lying? <laughs> First time in my life. At least I, you know, at least I, I force people to lie that I'm good. Your mind will change. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> come on, how are you? How are you? Come on, come on inside. How are you? Uh, it's just certainly a this different journey. Yeah. Uh, lots of different um, obstacles coming through. Yeah. Uh, but I tried to embrace it and bring it all in. So when the music came in, it was part of the practice. And the snoring was another thing. And the cell phone was orchestrated. So you just bring it in. Understand this point. This is extremely important. The world outside is not going to change for you. I have to change myself. You cannot change anyone outside, including your honey. <laughs> no. <laughs> you have to change yourself. I'm sorry, I'm just. No, it's a between, uh, between me and her. <laughs> Only we both know, and she, he knows. <laughs> How are you, teacher? I'm good. I think the most important word that you said today was intent. Come in with intent. Yeah, with intent. Then everything else follows. Yeah, yeah. Good. How are you? Great. Great. Regular practice, teacher. You practiced so many times teaching students, and now it becomes easy for you. Same thing. How are you, my friend? Very good. Very good. Hi. I took your Sunday class before. How are you? Relax. Relax. Relax and air conditioning. If your mind is obsessed for changing outside, changing anything outside, it may be your honey, it may be your friend, it may be your foe, it can you be happy if you get the best card in this world? Can you choose the best honey? <laughs> no, I'm just throwing the ideas that you have to think of it. <laughs> Masha is <laughs> Anyhow, how are you, my friend? Good? Understanding first. First thing is that I must understand why my mind is wandering. We will talk about it a bit. How are you, sir? <laughs> You want my list? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> list. I'm on my motorcycle, one of those 10,000 that just drove by. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was good. It was good, yeah. Yeah, yeah it was changed. Yeah. How are you? Good. How are you? Wonderful. I am wonderful or you are? <laughs> <laughs> um, how are you, Mark? Good. How are you three owners? Oh, excellent. excellent. Oh, so that's for my list. <laughs> <laughs> that's why I said. <laughs> so understand my friends. So last thing.